Hi YouTube, it's -a me, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, I'm not drunk, but <laughs> I'm having so much fun today. <laughs> we had a really good laugh <laughs> with um, my hubby and my daughter, <laughs> so I'm still laughing about that. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Welcome to my next video. <laughs> Uh, so, I wanted to clean it off before I, you know, so I don't do it on cam. But then, a couple pieces didn't come out. But I know for a fact that this one cuts perfectly fine, <laughs> you know, because I cut it so many times. I use this one really often. But I wanted to show you that a couple pieces didn't come out. And this is my fault. Clean your dice. <laughs> I have cut with that different times and I did not clean this thing. So, of course, the ones that are full with different other paper will not cut perfectly. And as you can see, there were two layers of red paper already. There is one layer and there is the other layer. And I still didn't clean the dye. <laughs> that's, that's just how I am. I want a die cut, but I do not want to clean. So, yeah, I'm going to clean it off cam. However, I promise you, <laughs> it cuts good. <laughs> so it comes in three pieces. By the way, when I promise you something, how come you guys trust me? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I had a comment recently, a little while ago. I don't know. However, on my... um Michael's grab bags <laughs> and somebody said you should have left the stuff in the bags how do we know that you really got it in the bags and I was like um I don't know <laughs> I didn't think I have to prove that <laughs> so you know I just made my video I wasn't thinking that I have to prove whatever I say <laughs> so <laughs> that was funny wasn't it <laughs> However, this one comes in three pieces. And as you can see, mine is connected because it cuts out a little heart and I made a shaker with this part. So you get your, this one will cut out just like that. Then you can cut this heart. So first of all, this piece will come out, the heart will come out of this die. Then you can cut the bigger heart and this one will cut with the stitching, the bigger one. And then you can cut a smaller heart, which is still in here, and it cuts with the stitching as well. But what I did was I connected them so I can cut a heart in a heart and make a shaker out of it. So that's why I just kept it this way. If you want to make a shaker and you don't use um, foam, you use only paper and layer it. This is how you keep them together so they don't move. And then you just cut, 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 10 pieces or whatever, so you get your thickness and then you use it. So this one is around three and a quarter by three inches. So it cuts out the heart, will, which will be two and a quarter by two inches. And then you have another heart, which is around two inches by two inches. And a tiny heart, which is one and a half inches by an inch. I love it. It cuts you like little hearts with stitching and stuff like that. So that's really pretty. I made shakers out of this part of this part, you know, that's just me. I like to make my shakers. So this one, I have no clue. This one will have to go to a hearts. Do I make a new like and call it hearts? Tell me. Somebody please tell me, where would you put it? What is the pile I should, what should I call the pile for something like that? Just give me an idea, please. Nobody is giving me an idea. <laughs> I have a wonderful response, by the way. Guys, you are great. So you support <laughs> what I'm doing. That's why it's so fun to do it. So let me put this one away. And my next one will be another bow which comes in three pieces and you can see I cut the green paper but then the back there is still gold because I did not clean my dye <laughs> I hear my bestie Becky yelling at me you know like why didn't you clean your dye but look if you keep them in they look pretty too I hope they did cut out though <laughs> but you know you will get the little tiny 
teeny tiny and they did cut out pretty good even though I had one layer of gold paper there already but you will get teeny tiny hearts with that too and um, thank you guys for all your tips by the way on what to use I did not use it yet because you know that's just how I am I want to finish my stuff here and then I forget that I should go get a toothbrush and stuff like that and um, I might just order this Sizzik Sizzik Sizzix thingy because I wanted it actually I it I'm not sure I think it was even on my wish list for Christmas but they had no idea what that is and where do you get it so you know I didn't get it <laughs> so let me show you the bow I know I apologize I hope there is not many more that are that dirty but you really get your really tiny hearts look oh I see told you I can't breathe <laughs> you see how tiny that is this one doesn't even look like a heart but they really do <laughs> they do look like very tiny hearts and if you cut out of double-sided paper or something it's like a shaker filling you can use right away okay so this makes your pretty bow I made it I don't know, not many times, because I do have my favorite bows. I don't know, I always use them, and I pre-made a bunch of them, so of course I use the ones I pre-made. But this is going to give you a bow like, let me see real quick here. You will get something uh, like this. <laughs> You will get something better looking than that, I promise. And then you put your piece on the back. I really want to show you though, because this one is pretty. But I'm not going to assemble it because I'm not going to assemble it in my booklet as well. So, you know, can you see it? There it is. So you can put a little gem on there and this one piece goes around it. But, you know, I'm not going to put it around it now. Those are kind of a little short for a bow, but... You can make the bow more puffy and not that flat, and you can see them better. Or you just, you know, cut it and take them apart a little bit. It works too. So it's three pieces. Let me see, four. And when you make the bow, it's going to be the bow itself. It's going to be like around two inches long. Yeah, this one is a little more than two inches long. So I love it. I would say yes, <laughs> anytime. <laughs> this goes into my closet pile. By the way, if you don't watch my organization videos, I did put my piles into this one already, so I don't have them all around my table forever. And I just named them like animals and outdoors and doilies, you know. So you can watch my organization videos. I have like a bunch. <laughs> oh, look, almost missed a piece. That's not good. So yeah, I want to try and organize them really good. I'm working hard on that. Okay, let me show you the next piece, which I wanted to have for Christmas crafting, but it came in in January or even February for no reason at all. <laughs> it's like your little fireplace. And it has the thing which you use to hold your wood. It has the wood and it has fire in there too. So you can basically have your fireplace and then have your little fire in there. And uh, let, me, let me do this for you. <laughs> you can also put your wood into this one, however you want this one to hold it. I would say it would actually go this way. So, you know, can you see it at all? Oh, darn it. <laughs> I know it's the same paper, but then you can have your fire wherever and the wood wherever. I don't know how you do that, but oh, I'm in California and we bought the house. When we bought it, it had a fireplace and I was so excited because I do like to listen to fire. And then they said that by law, it's forbidden to make fire in California. So ours is basically gas and just for looking good <laughs> that's it like, really why would you make it <laughs> if it's just for the looks that's three and a half inches uh, where are you going 
by two and a half inches and your wood piece is one and a half inches so the little ones i don't think i have to measure for you but that took a while for this one to come in but i'm thinking you could actually like pop it up you know you can layer a couple of times cut it a couple of times and pop it up and maybe even put something like here on top you know like a vase or something I haven't done anything with that because, you know, now it's like Easter crafts and whatever. There is no fireplace in my mind. <laughs> but this will go indoors. Okay, next one is a plant. And I must say I've never used it in any projects because I just, I was not inspired. I don't know how to say that, but this one, it looked good. But for right now, I just do not know exactly what to do with that, you know. So it has like this middle piece in it. Yeah, that's why I left it in. I actually wanted to show that. See, it has like this middle piece in it. So, but you can take it out. So I'm assuming you can paper piece this into green and then paper piece this a shade darker. I should do something with that. Let me show you closer. So you can actually see. You see it's flowers. But you would really have to paper piece it. I'm not sure how else to do that. Because it's so many little holes and, you know, lines and whatever that my mind just does not, does not really connect it all and make it to a project, if it makes any sense. So mostly if I see something... I see projects in my head, even though I never start them or never finish them. They are there. <laughs> but this one, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't inspire me to do anything with that. So the only reason I got it, and this is a very bad thing, but the only reason I got it was because it was so cheap, you know, really cheap. Okay, next one you might have seen as well on my channel. The little birds, <laughs> they are really pretty. Look, they are just adorable, aren't they? Really, really pretty, really, really cheap. Four and a half inches long. And you can just, you know, cut off, put on your cart, like for your pocket letter or whatever. I have seen a cart on Pinterest, which only had the birds and then like happy birthday here. And the birds were like a paper beast. And it looked so pretty. So basically with one die and one happy birthday, there was a cart ready to go. So now this one, I wouldn't know where to put because it's a banner. It has a bird, <laughs> you know, uh, but I would keep it with banners, I think, because it's more of a banner than anything else. So this one, I'm not sure if it came in a set or not. So I apologize for not knowing where this one came from. <laughs> Because sometimes I do buy my dye somewhere, like um, Tuesday morning or something, and then I just forget. I don't know, but oh, I just remember. I <laughs> remember. I remembered. I have a bunch of dyes from Hobby Lobby I haven't touched yet. Oh yeah, I <laughs> can't wait. But this looks like that. It's the end sign, and thanks. Look how pretty this is. And you know what? <laughs> I didn't know how you guys call that. And every time I heard somebody say end sign, I did not really hear end sign. I heard the word like and sign, a sign. <laughs> and I was trying to figure out what it means or how you how would you spell it. <laughs> and then one day I understood that people are actually saying end sign. <laughs> I know it's hard to not to be American. <laughs> You guys are talking funny too. You know, you. I have to get used to all of that. But I think I'm pretty good already. <laughs> I don't know. English or um, American English is like easier for me to speak than any other language I know for some reason. I don't know. Maybe because I speak it all the time now. I don't know. But my very first language was Russian. So this should be my easiest, but it's not. Actually, Russian is the hardest for me. Okay, there is a word. It has a little heart right here. This is your dot for your eye. And this is like special. 
and I really love this little die. I think it cuts out really, really... First of all, the word special is really cool because I have special people in my life <laughs> where I can use this word for. And the second thing is the font is cool and it's just big enough for like your flip books or some projects like that. And I did not measure it for you, but it's around three and a half inches long. So it's really, really cute. Okay. Ah, those could be from um, Peachy Cheap. I think so. I think so. I really wanted words and it's so long ago. And then they had like a bunch of words. So there must be more than just those. <laughs> and they are really, really tiny. You see that? Not tiny, but um, skinny. I guess, I don't know how you call that, thin? <laughs> this one says stay cool and this one says sun. So they still sell them by Peachy Cheap in, um, once in a while. They're like one inch and one and a half inches. They still do, I saw them. They still sell like a bunch of word dies. I don't know, many, many word dies for $7 or something like that. So who's next? Oh, my little bear. If you watch my videos again, <laughs> you would have seen him. I made him into tag or I put him onto a tag when I was making my tag flip. So you can go see it's the tag flip video. Okay, there he is. Get out. I have to beat his eye out. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Okay, there are two little once on the side and he has hearts like this in his feet but they do pop out too so you can either paper piece them leave them in there or keep them for something else and this is how it looks like he holds a sign a heart which says be mine and there are the two little holes you know sometimes you can just leave them like this it looks pretty too but i paper pieced him you know i really um I made another color heart. I didn't make too much, but I made another color heart. And I see just now that his arm actually pops out. So I don't know, you could actually layer the heart a couple times because this pops out so you could hold it and it would look more dimensional. Hmm, I'm gonna try it the next time. I didn't really notice that um, his arm is like this when I was crafting with him. But he's super cute. I'm gonna measure him real quick. Uh, three inches, he fit onto the pocket letter card by around, not quite two and a half inches. So he does fit if you, you know, make him a little bit like to the side. If you just put him like this, no. <laughs> but this is cute, look. I did put him onto my Valentine's pocket letter as well, I remember. I'm pretty sure I did. So, however, he goes to my animals. <laughs> Next is a kitty cat. She's pretty too. I worked with her. I believe in the same Valentine's pocket letter. All she has is like the little eye here to stick out. That's what she looks like. Isn't she cute? And all I did was basically cut out the flower and give her another color flower. So, and then it made it so, so, so much better. <laughs> she looked even better. But I like her. That's a cute kitty. It's three inches by two and a quarter fits onto your card for sure. If you are concerned about that. I don't know. I like to see if it does or not. Okay, next up. What is this? Butterflies. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. Those were one of my very first buys as well. And I was thinking, oh my God, you get two butterflies, <laughs> you know, like for a buck. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so I got the butterflies and then I was kind of disappointed because I was wondering how do you layer them? They are completely different. You know, I was actually thinking that you can stick one on top of the other, you know, like this. 
but that don't work even if you cut it in two different colors i am wondering how this is supposed to look good you know let me show you in a sec because they are completely different look at them this is a pretty butterfly this is a completely different butterfly so if i stick this one on top of this one it just looks weird because you know if i stick this one on top of this one it just looks weird so <laughs> all you have to do is to use them like in different ways <laughs> one project next project <laughs> don't put them on top of each other but it's pretty i mean i'm not saying it's not pretty it's two and a half by one and three quarters and one and a quarter by mm, two so but they are cute they are cute and really like if you pay a dollar or something um yeah i'm taking it <laughs> maybe we shouldn't maybe we shouldn't <laughs> so dragonfly never used it i actually got it for somebody i have to say but then kind of i don't know i guess our path like um separated or whatever before i even got the the dragonfly or shortly after that so yeah i did not use it but it's cute it has a very good size i think and it's very good to paper piece the size is two inches by two and a half inches show you on a card real quick or like this or like this you know it fits like in any direction and the butterfly uh, but the butterfly dragonfly <laughs> you know gilmer girls i i love Gil gilmer girls and i was watching them in germany and um her restaurant or hotel was named dragonfly and i i never knew that this is a dragonfly i connected it with a dragon <laughs> the word dragonfly <laughs> for me i connected it with the dragon because i was not speaking english back then <laughs> look it's cute paper piece it or put some acetate or something like that you know so it's um like see-through i don't know i haven't worked with this yet but i should i should work with a lot of them oh my god First of all, I just should st should should stop buying things so I have time to work with things. <laughs> okay, a set of two. There is a very, very pretty key and a lock, of course. Uh, let me see. I just want to clean it off a little. So this one is, mm, I don't know, was, I believe, one of my first buys as well so but they are still all there you know it's not like things are not there <laughs> everything you can still find everything if you look for it so there is like this little lock and the key the lock is one and three quarters by one and a half inches that's the die they came in a set so <laughs> I should I should just check if the if the key fits in the lock, you know. <laughs> That's what I want to check. Does it? Ooh, it fits <laughs> right there <laughs> because I thought it was bigger. <laughs> That's a little key. It embosses. See that? It did emboss here and the same sign on the lock. And I would just paper piece this one. Just put something in the back or you know, make it out of foil or something so it looks like metal. Oh, yeah, I should, you know, you can do it with your um, normal aluminum foil, kitchen foil. You can uh, die cut stuff. I should make a video about it, maybe. Is it indoors or outdoors? <laughs> what do you think? Did you see that? I breathed and everything flew. That's why I'm not doing paper piecing and breathing. <laughs> you can do both. <laughs> Decide what you're going to do. So this one is definitely indoors, I guess. If you want to come indoor, you, <laughs> you need to use a lock. <laughs> okay, next one is a... Because I'm a coffee drinker, I guess for me it's a coffee cup. For most of you, it's going to be a teacup, I guess. I don't know. 
but for me this a coffee cup and I do have a little problem with this one because I do it cuts perfect so there is no problem with that it really does cut perfect it cuts out your little heart here what I don't really understand is what is this thing around it you know why is it around it like that I don't know is this supposed to be a paper clip <laughs> but I don't think it looks good because it doesn't have much yeah however what I always did when I cut this one I would just snip it off I did not keep it on there I snip it off right here <laughs> and I think this looks much better <laughs> without all the stuff in there you know or around there I don't even know why why and those little pieces here they did emboss uh, you don't see it because of the paper yeah they are only for embossing I was just checking if this is a knife but they are only for embossing but you cannot see it because the paper is shiny however trust me on this one <laughs> again <laughs> or don't trust me <laughs> do i have to bring proof <laughs> i don't know <laughs> this one is cute though i like all the cups it's one and a half by two so of course perfect for pocket letter this one is gonna go into my kitchen pile and there is another cup but this one came from a magazine so i will just very quickly show you because the magazine is not there anymore this is how it looks like and it has the flower right there so it cuts out the flower too so just showing but the magazine is probably not available anymore because it is it has been a long long time now right there they are my favorite bows i do have a couple different bows but those are my favorites they come in a pack of six Look, look, look. <laughs> look like that. <laughs> and then you have different sizes. This one is the biggest. So, this is the biggest. And I think it's just, it is just the prettiest bow. Let me put it on that. <laughs> you know what? When I got it and cut it out the first time, I did not know how can you put this one around this one. You know and still have the right side paper on top I went to my hobby and I asked him <laughs> and then he told me and I was like oh that's why didn't I see that but look it makes a really pretty bow I think the length is perfect and just everything and this is the biggest one and I just dropped something so the biggest one when you assemble it would be two inches long and this is the smallest one I always use a pen just to make them round you know so they don't really fold but the tiny one is really tiny <laughs> I cannot even really show you can you see that it is when you assemble it three quarters of an inch but it is just as pretty and it's good for your small projects and you know set of six yes please different ones yes and this is my favorite I think this one is the best to assemble has the perfect size for me you know and looks the prettiest just for me this is what I think I think this looks like a perfect bow this will go into my closet pile for sure okay next one is a bow oh my god <laughs> bows 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 this one is not a 3d bow though it's just a very normal one you can put onto your projects so this is how the die looks like and there are a couple leftovers in there you see it comes out very easily this was um cheapy deep Oh, did I say PP? <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, it is pretty. I would put a gem, of course, <laughs> right here. <laughs> you can also paper piece it. I think it, it would look pretty if you paper piece it. It's a lot of little pieces, so maybe you would want to go ahead and just um, 
cut yourself a different piece of paper, you know, and when you cut it, when it's cut, try to not to take it out with all of the inside pieces. Just turn it around really um, carefully. And then on the back of it, put some tape so it holds all the little pieces in there. And then you can turn it around and you have a full bow with all the paper. And then you can cut another one out and put it on top so it will be filled out. I hope it makes sense. Okay, this goes into my closet pile and this is going to be the last one because half hour mark, almost missed it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I still have many more to go. So there is some more and um, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe and leave me a comment as always. Tell me what you liked and if you still are enjoying this. So yeah, have a great day and I see you in my next video. Bye bye.